you boys I'm the monster boy I'm the monster boy Being me at this Being beat And I'm gonna eat And I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat you Did you find this? Are you sure this is where we're supposed to be? We'll be out there in no time. on youtube we back in the low key cave Keyshawn Nas youtube page aka mr low key and we back with another movie review and uh yeah we got jeepers creepers retard i mean reborn or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be man Look, before i even get into it plot you got this couple leanne and chase pretty much traveling and chase is pretty much he ain't really telling her where they going but they end up going to this halloween festival long story short you pretty much got the creeper coming. Um, pretty much this is him coming out of hibernation. This is like our first time seeing him actually at that first 23rd as far as when he get to start doing what he do for those 23 days or whatever. So this is him just coming out or whatever. Hmm, maybe that's going to be interesting. Hell no. The movie starts off pretty much should indicate how stupid it's going to be anyway. But they try to throw you in for a little loop or whatever. They got a little opening for the movie that's almost like kind of screamish like they try to throw you off and like oh okay because the way this movie started I knew something wasn't right because I was like ain't no way these motherfuckers are so stupid ain't no way nobody is stupid and it was like they going right back to that first one with Derek it's like why are y'all having this pre people do this not only that it was the creepers truck another thing we got to talk about it was like, did this nigga go to pimp my ride or something? Like, cause then the movie starts off, it's like, when did the creeper get like a red truck? Like, it's like this nigga don't really upgrade it, upgrade it. Like, he already getting these box office dollars, and he just pretty much getting these royalty checks now. But no, it's a throw off. I'm not gonna say what it is in case people don't want to um, be known, cause this is gonna be spoiler free. Cause I guess if you want to call it it's a couple different, maybe, I, man. The whole thing with this is, as far as the mythology of the creeper and the lore of him. They kind of stick with everything. They kind of stick with the original uh, originality of him or whatever. But to think about the other previous movies, they do mention them. But they mention them as if they're just movies. Like, you know, um, Scream has stabbed. That's what they kind of are doing with this. It's like, as far as those three other uh, Jeepers Creepers movies, they are mentioned as cinema movies in this one. Because this is going on as a full-on reboot or whatever. Um, outside of that, the two characters we following chase and leanna or whatever i mean they don't we don't care i don't care personally i don't give two shits about them i never care even when certain things are happening with leanna or whatever and we get a little reveal about her or something i'm like i still don't give two shits the main motherfucker i was worrying about anyway was the creeper what was going to be going on with him and when he first appears it's straight up like on some michael myers jason shit like on some straight up monster like he just killing. He just coming in, slashing it, that, and that's it. It's over, done with it. Boom. When he first come out, that's all he doing. And these niggas, like, it's like they went to, let's go to, like, some 80s hard tropes. I'm talking 80s shit. Understand me what I'm saying. You know when them niggas is out in the middle of the woods and they got to pee, especially a man, a guy. When a guy has to pee, he can't just stand there. When ain't nobody around, just stand there and piss. Because all he got to do is unzip. That's all we got to do. We All we got to do is unzip or pull us. Like, boom, that's it. It's over. Nah, niggas got to go deep in the woods. They got to go middle of the woods to piss. Why do you got to go deep in the woods? Ain't nobody even around in your car right here. Even if you don't want to piss right near your car, go on ease over right there where the woods at and piss. Why do you gotta go deep in the woods? This shit went straight Friday the 13th. You know when niggas always gotta pee in Friday the 13th and they're in the woods camp or whatever. They gotta go deep, deep in the woods. This ain't even for just Friday. It's those older horror movies where niggas gotta pee and they gotta go in the deep woods and I don't understand it. You can stand right here and use the bathroom. 
I ain't mean to go in a rant about that, but that shit is stupid. And it's 2022, and for you to put something like that in this movie, it was dumb. It was stupid. We know this nigga's about to get killed. We ain't got to go through all this to do this. Anyway, man, I mean, overall, the movie has nobody you are rooting for besides the creeper. And just because we want to see what he's been up to. And the fact that they're trying to separate themselves from those three previous movies, it's like, okay, y'all gonna try to bring something new to the creeper? Y'all gonna try to bring something different? Um, maybe we wanna get some good horror aspects that we haven't got before? Nah, we don't get none of that. This shit is a monster movie, and that's it. And once they pretty much are in this little isolated location as far as this one house, the shit is really stupid. They back and forth upstairs. Back and forth upstairs. This nigga can kill them, literally. He can take everybody out, and the shit is done and over with, but... It's his whole thing, but I guess he wants to fill them out, make them run and get scary and scare them up some so he can smell they fear and all of that so he can know what he want to eat. I get it. Okay, whatever. The whole thing is, when you following Derry and his sister, it's like, I'm feeling this. I actually care about Derry and his sister. He's stupid, but I care about them. Even the kids on the bus and Jeepers Creepers too, it's like, I don't care about all y'all, but I'm feeling the vibe. I'm, I can go with this. I care about some of y'all. Not to the point where I'm going to be upset if y'all die, but I still care about some of y'all. And even the creeper in that one was entertaining. And this one, it's like he's just straight monster. It ain't, you know, the cre thing about Jeepers Creepers, it wasn't just a monster movie. This guy had somewhat of some characteristics to him. You know what I'm saying? He didn't talk, but it was just his manual, his movements or whatever, and how he just went about doing what he did. And this one, he's just on some monster shit. Towards, I say, the end of the movie, well, middle, had, somewhat middle towards the end, he kind of gets into that mood of being like the normal creep or whatever that you like somewhat. But other than that, like I said, I don't remember half of these people. I remember them, but they don't give a fuck. Man, the main two people we following, it's like, what, whatever, whatever. Another thing, man, um, the truck. Ain't no truck. Ain't no truck. This nigga goes through a whole routine, getting his cold and shit, getting his clothes together. You know, he just now coming back to get ready to go eat and shit for 23 days. He do a whole thing with pulling the thing off his truck. I'm like, oh, see, we about to get the truck, man. We about to get that goddamn uh, upgrade. About to get that Fast and Furious motor going. <laughs> nah, we don't get no truck. Like I said, depending on the budget for this, they made sure they kept everything isolated and it turns into a pretty much Honey House movie. That's it. Not, as far as Honey House, I mean, basically Home Invasion. Not Honey House, a Home Invasion movie. Being that this is not their house, but it's still basically a Home Invasion movie and he ain't doing shit but just running around, flying around, sniffing them out and seeing what he wanted. That's it. Taking them out one by one. That's pretty much all you're getting with this. Overall, as far as the creeper himself and his look, and he looks different, but is it a good way or bad way? Ah. He just looks, he does look different, um, but not too different. It's pretty much the same. We getting pretty much the same guy. I mean, not the same guy, because I know, I think it's a different guy playing the creeper. But this, as far as his appearance, as far as the makeup and all that, the effects or whatever, it's still him. Wings and all that, it's still him. Overall, though, if you want to ask me personally, I think Jeepers Creepers 3 was better than this. Straight up, I think Jeepers Creepers 3 was better than this. I do. But um, other than that, the kills, the attacks, him eating. It's like, it's a scene in here where he's put, like, eating some brains. I'm going to just say he eating some brains. I ain't sitting there like, uh, like you know, like, uh-uh. I'm sitting there like, okay, nigga, they eat Chinese food or some shit. You remember that scene in that first Jeepers Creepers where he in the jail cell and he eating old buddy in the jail and the dude walking up on him and you can hear him eating him and he, oh, oh, oh that's, to this day, I still be like, oh, no, what the f no till this day so they didn't give me none of that in this um be honest the last couple movies didn't really do that it's creepers two kind of, like i said jeepers creepers one and two one in particular is the one it's one but two even is a guilty pleasure for me i like two i do other than that though this shit is crack cocaine and it's the bad kind of stepped on and fuck i'm sorry i didn't mean to make that reference but i'm sorry this shit is pure Fit no, you gonna die watching this shit. Uh, 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 and I didn't mean to make that reference. Out. My bad, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just this shit was horrible. And it's the fact that this is not like some throw over the mill character as far as horror go. I don't see why somebody, I mean, a bigger um 
a Universal, Warner Brothers, where fuck you know. I know Warner Brothers got a lot going on right now, but Universal, hell, Hulu, Hulu, and what they doing right now with the Predator Hellraiser. I don't see why somebody won't just jump on as a streaming service. Netflix turned it into a series. At one point, I knew they was trying to do something like that. I thought I don't know, but overall, it needs somebody else, and it needs a bigger budget. I think. Not even like a huge budget, just something to, just something. It needs something, but that straight the demand shit and all this got going on right now, that ain't it. That ain't it because it ain't even the fact of the budget. Fuck the budget. It's the overall story and what we get in the city is just whack. And the characters, nobody gives two fucks about. And even the creeper himself, he's not, he wouldn't did feel intimidating in this movie. I didn't get intimidated about him at all. He's still that normal creeper, kind of somewhat unstoppable, but then again, not really. But then they do some real goofy, confusing, not even really confusing, just not whatever type of shit at the end because I forgot to mention, I guess, the townspeople that are pretty much working with the creeper or that they work for him. They, I guess, some of the, man, the shit is stupid and you don't care about that shit either. But the one thing I will say is this whole shit with the girl, Liana, she's having these premonitions, you know, like the first two, you know, like um the... The woman in the first one was having premonitions and trying to warn, warn Derry and his sister. Part two, you know, the girl on the bus was having premonitions or visions of him or whatever. And we kind of getting this with the girl or whatever. Like I said, she has something else going on with her, which I won't reveal if you want to be surprised. I guess so. But she does have something going on with her, and she's pretty much having her premonitions and visions in this film or whatever. But whatever. It's the thing at the end. I'm not going to say what it is, but some shit happens with her where it's like, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? You watch the movie, you're going to know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to spoil it. But you watch the movie. You watch this vi at the very end. And you just sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? Why? Why? And what is that? What is she? So it's something that happens with Leanne at the end. I'm telling you, this shit was stupid. It made no, it really made no sense to me. To me, it made no sense. Maybe if y'all watch this movie and y'all see what happens at the end, let me know in the comment section what the hell was going on. Because to me, it made no sense. But overall, man, this was not good. This was shit. It wasn't scary. The characters you didn't give two shits about. Honestly, once again, I feel like Jeepers Creepers 3 was way better than this. And the fact I'm saying way, it ain't giving it a compliment. Jeepers Creepers 3 is trash. Give or take, they tried to do something with that, though. Even with the Creeper on this mythology or something. This shit is a monster movie, man. And it's not a good monster movie. It's not intimidating. Like I said, ain't the chase scenes. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Do y'all plan on checking out Jeepers Creepers Reborn? It's not worth going to the theaters if you do have a plan in your area. I think it was supposed to be doing like some three-day type of shit. I understand why. No. Wait till this shit come on demand. More than likely, it's coming on Netflix pretty soon, I'm guessing. But anyway, I would let me know in the comment section. Do y'all want to see Jeepers Creepers um, redone the right way? With a pretty decent hard director, maybe not even hard director, just a good director overall, or just some good characters and some good story. We don't even got to go into the depths of the mythology of the creeper. You can start over. I don't care. Well, I just want to get a good horror story with the creeper, and maybe join a couple different, maybe a couple things here and there different with him or whatever. Just make him intimidate and scary like in that first one. But anyway. Y'all let me know in the comment section. If y'all plan on checking this out, or if you already have, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is the road to 1,000 subscribers. We almost there. I appreciate everybody who's been coming through, checking out the content. Other than that, um, make sure you check out my other trailer reactions I just did. I did Hellraiser we dropped today. Um, Dama. Oh, speaking of Dama, I think that's supposed to start on Netflix tomorrow. I will be doing reviews on that, and more than likely, I'm going to do episode by episode review, because it looks like it's going to be a lot going on, because I thought it was going to be a movie, but it is going to be a series, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be just do a straightforward um, review of it. Then again, I might get so into it and binge it, I probably will, but other than that, appreciate everybody who coming through, subscribing, and everybody who's been subscribed to the channel. I appreciate everybody taking the time just to watch me do what I do. Other than that, we out. Now you're gonna have to go through hell worse than any nightmare that you ever dreamed but in the end i know you'll be the one standing